Released in 2017 the iPhone 8 Plus is now more than 6 years old. Being the last big iPhone with the classic home button the 8 Plus it is still very popular among people. In this video I am going to tell you if the iPhone 8 Plus is still worth it in 2024. When it comes to the build quality the iPhone 8 Plus is made of glass in front and back and rounded aluminum frames. Even after all this time this device feels very good and premium in the hand. The 8 Plus is a big and wide device thanks to its big bezels all around. Personally, I am all in for bezel-less phones but there are many people out there that still love this design that contains the home button. Because of its big top and bottom bezels and the old screen format the iPhone 8 Plus is much bigger compared to a 6.1-inch iPhone that has the newer design. The 8 Plus is also IP67 water and dust resistant but if you buy it used don't rely this since it might have been opened in the past and lost this feature. The iPhone 8 Plus has a 5.5-inch LCD display with a full HD resolution. The display of the iPhone 8 Plus isn't really that good anymore. Its colors aren't as vibrant as OLED phones and even though it is a bright panel it doesn't come close to newer devices. Personally, I don't really enjoy watching content on this device. Everything is perfectly fine with the display but I can't stand the bezels that surround it. They make the viewing experience much worse. This is however a personal complaint and it shouldn't be a deal breaker for you. One thing I love about the 8 Plus is the 3D touch feature which got removed with later iPhones. My iPhone 8 Plus runs perfectly fine iOS 16 and I do really enjoy the lock screen customizations. This is however the last major update for the 8 Plus so it isn't as future proof anymore. When it comes to the performance the iPhone 8 Plus is still good. It is powered by the Apple A11 Bionic and despite being many years old this device still delivers. It is very fast on opening apps and games even though it takes a couple seconds more compared to newer iPhones. For its age I think the 8 Plus is still great. RAM management is also good despite only having 3 GB. Once again it isn't the best but for the most part it does the job. As you can see the 8 Plus comes with 64GB of base storage which in 2024 isn't enough but there is another variant with 256GB of storage. The iPhone 8 Plus comes with a 12MP main lens and a 12MP telephoto lens with a 2x optical zoom. This is one area where the iPhone 8 Plus does feel its age. In daylight both cameras are honestly good. They take detailed pictures even though the dynamic range isn't the greatest. For people that only want to take good pictures without going into the details it still works. It is low light where this phone falls behind. It doesn't support a night mode so low light shots are just unusable. The front camera is a 7 megapixel lens and it is the worst of all. It takes mediocre pictures in daylight and terrible pictures in low light. Video on the other hand is good for a 6-year-old device. The 8 Plus can record up to 4K at 60fps but for the best results you should record at 4K at 30fps. It does a good job with stabilization but the results aren't as sharp. When it comes to the audio quality the iPhone 8 Plus does its job. It comes with a pair of stereo speakers and they are loud and clear. They aren't the most balanced however since the bottom speaker is louder compared to the one found on the earpiece. A headphone jack is missing here but I think everyone knows this by now. Probably the biggest downside of the iPhone 8 Plus nowadays is the battery. This phone has a 2700 mAh battery capacity which isn't enough in 2024. To make things worse most of the models out there have a degraded battery. As you can see my unit has only a 76% battery health and the battery life lately has been terrible for me. If you can find a device with a battery health around 90% or more then I would say it will deliver but for a device like mine the battery will be a concern. The iPhone 8 Plus has the Touch ID integrated in the home button and after so many years it is still very reliable. For me Face ID is more convenient but Touch ID isn't bad at all. So, is the iPhone 8 Plus still worth it in 2024? I would say yes and no. The 8 Plus is a good device for people that love the old iPhone design and use their phones only for calls and social media. On the other hand, people that like to do more with their phones and to explore more features shouldn't buy the iPhone 8 Plus since it lacks the innovation that happened after it came out. 
those people probably already have newer devices so the 8 plus isn't really an option. If you have this device, I think it is probably time to let it rest and go for a newer model. So this was my review of the iPhone 8 plus for 2024. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.